hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Janie for those who are new welcome today we're going to be doing the fox cat eye kind of trend that's been going on um, honestly it's just a wing liner and just to elongate your inner tear duct I have very droopy eyes so I'm going to show you how I achieve this look with my droopy eyes so first things first we're going to be combing out our hair my hair is like three days old already i have not washed it in like three four days and you can see i still have some bounce to my curls so i hate when i have to brush through my waves my curls anything like ever it ugh. but i knew i needed a wash and a treatment so i just combed through it so i'm going to be doing a trick that a lot of makeup artists uses and a lot of um photographers and uh, models they use to create a tight face look kind of thing so my eyes are very droopy and when i push my hair really back and i tighten it it gives me like an instant face look which is good but it also gives me a headache so i have to take like an advil like if i was going outside i would have to take an advil because my head at the end of this video was in throbbing pain i was like no this is not worth it <laughs> so um we're just going to take the ends the part of the hair that's closer to the temple i'm going to take that and i'm going to tie it back and then i'm going to take the top part of my hair and tie that back as well um basically putting it all in one um moño or hair tie um so yeah i'm going to section out the hair on the top because i'm not trying to get that stuck to the rubber band i guess you can say i really need to learn <laughs> this english language <laughs> but yeah, I was struggling with this gossipy glue because it's so tight. Like that glue, is that's glue. That's not even hair gel, it's glue. So I take that and I mix it with water. And these are the pieces that I was talking to you guys about. This, These pieces right here, they kind of already lit. When you tighten it, it lifts up that whole cheek and that whole eye. So I don't know if you can see my eye is like lifted and gifted. And the other, guy, the other eye is just like hanging in there. So I take this, I push it back, and I make one ponytail. I would recommend not to do this so tight like don't tie it tight because when you split your hair um, that is already in the ponytail it kind of goes already tight so here I boom I already have the ponytail on the back I tightened it and now I have the top part my arms were burning burning when I did this um, at first I was gonna leave it out but since my hair kind of lost its curls lost its bounce I just decided to put it in a half up half down and here I'm just combing it and I add water and some gel. Mix the gel with water because that gel is literally glue. And it's like so hard to manage without water. So yeah, and I just take the other ponytail and I mix it in with this ponytail. So the ponytail is still there. It's just now it's just one ponytail. So once you got your ponytail in the way you like, um, you can fix the bottom if you prefer to have your hair straight and have it straight I wanted it curly so I was just going in with some water and like just finger coiling it to get my curls back a little bit in the bottom um so yeah you can switch up this look however you want it's just a hairstyle it's honestly as long as that hair is pushed back I've seen some youtuber push her hair push the two ends back and since her hair was long and straight she just kept her hair down she didn't have it in a half up half down or in a ponytail you can literally achieve this look with just tying the two pieces in the back and that's it um so yeah i'm just scrunching it i learned this trick from maria this girl on instagram her name is maria's gold makeup artistry i think i'm not sure i can add her instagram down below but she takes a spoolie and she does her baby hairs with the gel and the spoolie and honestly it is amazing i don't even like look at my toothbrush anymore i literally just use spoolie <laughs> So 
once you've got your baby hair to lay exactly where you want it to um, I just used a purple eyeshadow this is from Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsession Palette these are so pigmented I love them um, I didn't want it to be so Barney-ish kind of color so I went in with another shade and let's see in a minute yeah I went in with that shade and then I went in I go back in with um, another shade to lighten it up so I'm just packing on the color and I'm going to be taking a blending brush a fluffy blending brush with no color and I'm going to be just mixing and blending the um, color into my crease now I'm going to be showing you guys these three brushes this is a the top two ones are luxie brushes and the bottom one is a flower beauty brush and the top one is a long fluffy brush but the middle one is a shorter fluffy brush and then the blending brush down below which is the flower beauty one is a kind of like a medium size but very more fluffier meaning that it has more width to it than the other ones and I use the top one mostly to blend like two colors so that I'm not mixing the two colors but mostly like just blending and getting a steamness I use the shorter one for a look that I need to dab colors and then a little bit of blend um, but the color the brush that I use the most is the flower beauty one it honestly blends away like it's like I said it's very fluffier very wider so it's getting all that color and just mixing it well not mixing it's just blending into like dust I don't know how to explain this <laughs> So you'll see right here. So I pat and I left the outer um, crease very like messy. And when I blend it, it just goes seamless. So it doesn't make it blotchy. It doesn't blend so weird. It's just blending. And all you guys do is these swipe the motions. Um, sometimes I use the brush upside down. It's just a method I've been using for years um, just to help me. But at this point, since I only got one color, I only blend it downward. Um, and this, I'm going to be using this shade just to make it a little bit lighter because it was too Barney for me. And I really honestly don't like purple. I hate purple, but it looks good on brown eyes. So now these are the liner brushes. I have a longer liner brushes, a longer angle liner brush, and I have a shorter angle brush. I'm going to be using the shorter one because I want to make sure I have control and that I am... Um, just stamping on that brown color so I'm gonna take a brown dark color and I'm just going to be stamping into my inner tear duct and I just go along my lash line and just make like a nice sharp triangle in there so I go top and bottom and then I'm gonna be elongating the middle part I'm gonna just stop talking and you can watch <laughs> Once I'm done with that, I'm going to be taking a black eyeshadow and I'm going to be deepening that inner tear duct. Um, I didn't want to rush this and like, you know, speed this part up. I wanted you to see how long it takes and to see the process because honestly, this was difficult. The other eye is very difficult for me because my eye is lazy, um, but I did it. In this part, I am going to be taking the wing a little bit more higher than I normally would meaning I would go from where my lash line ends but instead I'm going a little bit on top of where my lash line is at and I'm just going to make a cat eye I'm not gonna drag it so much and I'm not gonna drag it into the eye um, hmm how can I say this I'm not going to be dragging that color all the way to the lash line I'm just gonna be leaving it right there at the end just you know letting it hang there 
and I'm just gonna elongate, clean it up, and darken it with the black color. So as you can see, one eye is lifted and the other eye is not. Um, I'm gonna be taking a concealer brush and just clean up the edges. I also take my finger and kind of like elongate the uh, cat wing a little bit. And yeah, just clean up the bottom. I'm gonna be doing my other eye off camera just so that you guys can see how simple it is. It's just honestly, it's the color, whatever color you want, it's the inner tear duct and the um, wing and that's it. So I'm not going to be putting no false lashes because I really want the eye to look um, very long eyed, I guess you can say. I just wanted to put my regular lashes to use and I did not want to add no falsies. I didn't want to cover nothing and this is just like a very simple one, two, three kind of look. Um, I used the Fenty Beauty Mascara. I used one part and then I used the uh, Better Than Sex Mascara just for fluff. I feel like the Fenty Mascara does a lot of separation and gives it a lot of um, length. But then the uh, Too Faced one kind of makes it a little more thicker. So once you do the other eye, it should look like this. You all here looking like a fox. <laughs> But um, yeah, I did the rest of my face off camera. I just wanted this to be solely focused on the eyes and I'm just giving you looks and looks and looks. I hope you guys enjoy this. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!